Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games and welcome back to part 3 of my France campaign here in Crusader Kings 2. We are uh, going to be trying to, we're continuing to try to restore France to its glory. And right now I've got a war goal on Aragon, although I can't really use that at the moment uh, because I'm bankrupt. Uh, and also the Holy Roman Empire is looking kind of weak, although actually if I, I believe I'm in a pact with them anyway, so it won't help. And no, I'm not in a pact with them. Actually, so I could I could try to claim the entire Holy Roman Empire, which would be quite bold. Let's see. The cook has prepared a fine meal, but the priest preached about temperance. Being temperate's kind of cool. It's good for money. Yeah, I will satisfy my hunger with uh, bread and water. Awesome, so I'm temperate now. Let's see what else is going on here. These are the weak claims. Are already knew about that. I know I'm in a budget deficit. Righteous imprisonment, imprisonment here. This guy's married to my half-sister. How about you just end the plot, dude? Okay. Vassal levies have been raised too long. Complain, complain, complain. Oh, that's all they ever do is complain. I could uh, claim this one county, but I think I'm probably not going to go to war with uh, England for just that. Unless, wait a minute. How does that work? Would I do it against him? I couldn't. I'd have to do it against his liege. In either way, we have a non-aggression pact. Not to mention that I'm bankrupt. And I have some special things in. I could send my son into hiding to secure him. I think he'll be okay. I've got a backup, right? Do I have a backup? No, I don't have a backup. But she's pregnant! I think. She's stressed. Yeah, she's pregnant. She's gonna give me a backup. Uh, okay, getting back into... Uh, what, what was I looking at? Oh yeah, I was gonna look at a couple things. I want to see what factions there are. Uh, biggest faction right now is Duke Philip of Flanders here. He wants to lower the crown authority. I don't like the sound of that. My nephew here is working with my uncle. It looks like he's in charge of two of these, so how about we just plot to kill him? Oh wait, am I already doing that? Yeah, I'm already trying to plot to kill him, that's right. So hopefully that will fire at some point. And I can't change any laws yet, can I? Crown authority. I could up the centralization. This doesn't help me a ton right now, though. Well, I might as well knock this out, actually. Let me just do that. Get it now rather than later. Uh, okay, cool. He's gonna stop doing his nonsense, and now we just crank up the speed and wait for uh, us to be out of bankruptcy. And I think I will be going after Aragon. Uh, let me make sure, though, that they're not allied with anybody. What is this? Uh, they're part of a defensive pact. It's not opposing me, though. King of Andalusia, heir to Leon. This kid, this kid could become very, very powerful. Or wait, whichever of them dies. Yeah, Leon and Andalusia are at this moment going to be unified if one of their rulers dies. It's a big, big empire we'd be looking at down there in the, in the Iberian. Well, as long as they direct their aggression towards the Muslims and not me, that's fine. Okay, let's see here. We just had a daughter, Melisande. Uh, I think I'm going to pass on that name. Let's go to the Patreon list, of course. Let me just, I'm sorry, I really need to start pulling this up beforehand because I am having plenty of children, but I think I already went with uh, Yura. Let's go with my daughter. Actually, there's a Sarah. I have a Sarah. $5 backer. Thank you very much. My dear courtier and brother in the Hermetic Order, Helie, has stepped forth with an idea for a ritual. Oh, yes, let's let's do that. Let's do some sort of funky ritual. And we need some... Get, just need to gather some ingredients. Well, that's easy. Uh, we'll just go out and get some herbs. Uh, tell me of secrets hidden throughout the world. And... Looks like Scotland's going to war with Norway. Sure, dude, I'll help you out. Help you out at the, the floating commas. Uh... The Divine Being has given me cryptic advice on the decryption of hidden secrets throughout the world, but with ample time spent mulling over it afterwards, I believe I have deciphered what it meant. I look forward to putting it to good use. And my intrigue's down. <sighs> Alright. Let's hopefully find some good herbs out there. Also, how about I... No, I shouldn't search for a smith. I have a war to fight. Uh, I can search for smiths and things after I've reclaimed my land. Uh, let's see... Hmm. We've got two herbal ingredients. What are they? We've got yarrow and lemongrass. I 
I don't know what they do exactly. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that lemongrass doesn't actually do anything. Yarrow might. I think yarrow is potent ingredient for alchemaic recipes. Lemongrass, potent ingredient for lemongrass recipes. I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually do anything. But I think that yarrow helps sleeping potions be better. Anyway, how's the Holy Roman Empire doing? 15,000 strong over here. The head of the revolt. It's got less than 3,000. I've got, I don't think, even 10,000 available to me. A little bit more than that, but definitely not enough to deal with this death stack, not to mention what else is out there. Although, somebody else is also at war with the Holy Roman Empire right now, yeah? And no, they've got a truce with Venice, never mind. Let's rank up to an adept. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. Great, so now uh, I can use esoteric knowledge to make a horoscope for my kids. And I do have a son who uh, that would probably be nice to do for. Uh, let's keep saving up some money here. What's Aragon doing? Are they in any other... Oh, they are in another war. Oh, the Teutonic Order has also been founded. Okay, but wait a second. Uh, accounting... Uh, accounting... Attacking Count Piaris of Albarassin. He's... Okay, so he's attacking this guy with his less than a thousand troops. Wow, that's helpful. Uh, him and I are kind of close together, maybe even with a slight advantage to me, but he just allied the king of Andalusia, who I definitely am not going to be able to deal with. Yeah, 14,000 plus. That's a no-go. So then... Uh, how old am I? I'm 26. I can afford to be patient. Ooh, technological advances. Maybe majesty? Hmm... Less short rain years. That would put me at zero. Monthly prestige gain, plus 4%, and the piety. Or I could go for legalism. Tolerance, I don't really need. Noble customs is kind of good. How do my vassals feel about me? Oh, what's your problem? Oh, this is the one who's always plotting against me. He desires the county of Sens. Do I even have that? Oh, I actually do. Oh, so that'll fix the problem. Let me just give this to him. Okay, we'll grant him the county... Yeah, because this is outside of both of my... Well, let me make sure, actually. Sens, is that outside of both of my duchies? Yeah, I have this. And I've got... Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, okay, well, that's an easy problem to fix, Henri. To fix, Henri. Come on, man, why don't you come talk to me about that sort of stuff? You don't have to go plodding around my back. So, yes, I did just make him a little bit stronger, but he now likes me a whole lot. Uh, so, hopefully, he's... Yep, there we go. Factions are gone. Now, what's your problem? Vicious rumors, and she's just upset about the Crown Authority. Countess Elizabeth. Married to my nephew. And now we have a non-aggression pact. Ha ha. That should be the end of all my factions. Okay, no problem at all. Right now, I haven't I haven't picked this yet. So, Majesty is cool, though the short reigns doesn't really help me right now because I'm I'm already almost done with it. Actually, I think I am done with it. So maybe I think I'm gonna do legalism. I really always really like legalism. Temple vassals don't like me very much. What's your problem? Broken betrothal. Oh, right, this dude. Uh, and we've got a lot of... He's... Oh, this guy's Occitanian, not French. That's probably also part of it. Let's take a look at our culture, now that you mentioned it. I've been looking at the religion, which, you know, now we're all Catholic again, but uh, I haven't been looking at the culture screen. Oh, look at that. There is a lot of Occitanian down there. Something I'll have to fix later. Although we're kind of creeping out here. Uh, which is cool. Right, anyway, the technology. I think legalism is going to be the way to go for right now. Ah, shoot, maybe I should have done noble customs. I do want to go to some into some wars. Uh, now, where do I want the rally point? No, we'll, 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 we'll wait on that rally point there. How's this going? Ireland's turning! Rip Celts. Okay, so I've got a nice amount of money coming in right now. Could I... F 
Jeez, I can't fight Aragorn. There, it's too, it's way too much. Because even I think their combined strength is still more than the Holy Roman Emperor. Now he has a non-aggression pact with Hungary. Um, they have marriage ties. She's Hungarian, so she's a princess. They might ally together, and I really hope they don't. There's a revolt going on in Bavaria, and this stupid count just revealed my plot to kill somebody. And look at that enormous Holy Roman Empire death stack. I think any wars are going to have to wait for a little bit here. I just am not in any sort of a good position yet. Now, my only ally is the King of Scotland, who has some troubles of his own at the moment. What is this? What do you want now? You keep causing me problems. Uh, he's saying my marshal is promoting vile her heresies. You're the vile one, you ambitious man. I'll keep this information to myself. No, oh, Norway's undergoing its own revolt, so Scotland might have a little bit of a chance. They have a bigger army than Norway. Alright, they're going to set up a workshop out in Vexen. Let's take a look at my intrigue. Uh, have I kicked the Jews out? I forget. No, I owe the Jews money. Maybe I should just, uh, maybe I should just kick them out. No, 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 no. we'll just... Uh, the Kaiser won the war over here. All right, that's cool. These two are forming alliances. I don't like that. What's your problem? Minus 100? Attempted murder. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see him being a little upset about that. Well, I'm still trying. Hmm. Vassal inheritance warning. Oh, yeah, I knew about this already. Okay, let's give you a guardian. Actually, I will do it myself. Actually, why should she do it? She's got high diplomacy, but I got high basically everything. I will personally be the guardian to my son. How much longer until I'm going to be able to change these laws? I have to be at peace. No count or higher tier vassal of this title has a negative opinion of you. So another reason why I got to just kill this dude. Can I just imprison him? No, it'll be tyrannical. I think I might be able to... No, I couldn't survive a minus 40 from him. Maybe he'll just revolt and I could put him down. I could beat him. Nice, more technology. Okay. Can't really use any of this, though. Well, I'm just sitting around. Might as well just build something, like a hospital. I could do that. All of this is too expensive. Okay, I need to find a hermetic text now. That's a good way to throw away a lot of money. Let's uh, let's travel far. 62% success rate. Oh, the revolt just got bigger. Every time my son Liam Perkins meets a stranger, he looks like he might faint. Uh, let's see. Pray Lord will provide him strength. Yeah, let's uh, let's have a talk with him. It'd be cool if he. Yes, he's gregarious now. Excellent. Oh, one of my vassals is now in the College of Cardinals. How interesting. All right, what's this? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to find the Hermetic Tests while also raising my son here. Quietly encourage him. He'll become humble. Piety's cool. Thank the Lord. Or that's no way to get ahead. He could become proud. I think proud would be cool. Yes, he got pride. Our expedition in foreign lands encountered some difficulties, but in the end, we made it to the ruins of Ankara safely. Uh, by the way, let's, uh, let's for those of you who don't know... Whoops. There we go. Ankara's way out here. So we, we traveled a bit. After a fortnight of excavation, the servants uncovered the entrance to a hidden underground chamber. Neo fight Helii and I entered side by side, the air heavy with excitement. And we found one. Excellent. What's going on here? I need a new chaplain. Hey, come on, my fellow brother. My fellow neophyte. Actually, I'm not a neophyte. Don't call me a neophyte. I'm not one. Uh, let's see. We can improve relations. Let's just research some cultural to er yeah, there's no need to hunt apostates. Let's just get that right down there. Okay, so how big are these guys? 14,000 versus 20,000. All right, good. So this should wear down the Holy Romans a little bit more. 
Let's uh, maybe stop spending money, or maybe we could write a theorem paper. Excellent, more technology, always nice. Uh, I'm actually gonna search for a smith after all. Let's, uh, let's see, I've got pretty high martial. A deadly weapon could be cool. Let's do it, let's get a deadly weapon of some kind. Hopefully the scaling doesn't hurt me too much. All right, the craftsmen that you funded a couple years ago have returned to tell you of their success. With your support, they were able to set up their business and they are now one of the most profitable enterprises in Vexen. Gain 100 gold and more city tax. Cool, that's gonna pay for my weapon. So, my marshal, Gerard de Monafort Lamore, has told me about a remarkable weaponsmith residing in Rims. He suggested that I invite the man to my court to see his uh, work for myself. If he manages to impress me, I could order my own custom-made item. Let's do that. Uh, okay. Once Marshal Gerard had assured... Yeah, yeah basically, what's going to go on here? Okay, we could do a sword, I could do a lance, I could do an axe, or a mace. Um... The mace is is nice, but prestige. They're all gonna give me prestige. I think the sword gives me the most prestige. Yeah, can't go wrong with a good sword. A sword I see. An excellent choice, my king. Alright, uh craft me something effective or make sure you make it good enough. I changed my mind. Woo! 325 gold, but it's gonna be in my family for a while. I'm gonna get more monthly prestige, more martial, and more combat skill. Let's do it. Informal event. Uh I'm a married man, get away from me. Uh, I strolled over to his forge. I did not find him working on the project I commissioned, but instead working on a different task, specifically my sister, Princess Agnes. Hmm. Uh, can you please focus on your work? He's gonna like me less. He's worried. Uh, get out and stay out. He's banished. 30% chance that she elopes with him. Ooh, no, 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 no. He must be punished. Okay, I can kill him and get 100 prestige. Ah, am I going to get my money back? I'll find that out another day. Uh, focus on your work. Thank you, sir. I need to check that out. I'll do, it on, I'll do it on my own time sometime. Find out exactly what happens. I am sorry, my king, Raymond said apologetically. The weaponsmith has informed me that the precious metals and special tools needed to produce the sword I ordered are impossible to find in my own realm. I can send a man on an expedition to acquire said materials, although it will be costly. Uh, why not throw good money after bad? Send him immediately. I caught my son, Liam, lying to me again straight to my face without batting an eye. I almost had an innocent servant sent to the stocks. Even I am impressed. I don't think I want him to be deceitful right now. Uh, we could talk to him about honesty. It's more diplomacy. Pray that the Lord will show him the light. No, with the birch, he will speak the truth. Let's just talk to him about honesty. All right, now, what does my steward want? He bet, steward, you better be coming to tell me that you got money. Your steward comes to see you one afternoon. He explains that he has devised a plan to bring in exotic goods by setting up a trade route with a foreign... Ra oh, yeah, this is this leads to good money, but dang, I'm already really in the sink. Okay, we're going to we're gonna organize an expedition. Uh, I'm going to steal the ship with some bandits. Word has spread that you're planning a trading expedition. A group of priests have arrived at your court with a request. They are offering temple funds for the journey if you will allow them to come along on the journey. 51 gold is nice, but uh, I'm pretty sure that the priests just cause trouble when they go. Uh, Countess Ida, uh, I could try. I could sleep with her. Who's her husband? Is this anybody I hate? Duke Philippe of Flanders. Keeper of the swans, etc., etc. Um... This guy's fine. It'll never happen. Go away. The bandits you hired failed with their retrieval of the ship. Trade expedition was a failure. That's what I get for juggling too many things at once. So the Norwegians have landed in Scotland, I noticed, but the Scottish are also in Norway, so I guess it's a bit of a race, okay? Finally, the sword has been completed. Master Raymond has brought me a sturdy box which contains the item. My hands are shaking slightly as I open its heavy lid. I have a new long sword. Uh, geez, it's a little underwhelming after all that money I spent, but it's something. The prestige is nice, and I will be passed on. Uh, okay, now the Holy Roman Emperor is trying to betroth his into my family. He wants a non-aggression pact of some kind. Uh, my vassals are getting pretty strong, but I still think I cannot take him on. 
And unless he's in two wars at once, he's attacking King Alphonse the Troubadour. Because he's trying to make him a tributary state. So he's actually attacking Aragorn. That's pretty interesting. So he's going to call in Andalusia. Perhaps this is my time to attack him as well. Wait, why can't I declare war? Right, I'm bankrupt. Never mind. Uh, I do not have much to spare. All right, we're good. We're just gonna try the local antiquary. Oh, and here come the epidemics. Okay, I found a hermetic text. Didn't get a whole lot of knowledge, but it's something. Now, I've got 880. Uh, I need. I think I am gonna go ahead and do the horoscope for my kid. Yeah, make a horoscope for little Prince Liam here. The stars hold many secrets, but they are not indecipherable. Using the right instruments and frame of mind, I will uncover the destiny of Prince Liam Perkins. Come what may. After spending many nights analyzing the movements of the stars, I have noticed Jupiter moving into a sign influencing that of my son Liam Perkins. I am fairly certain that this indicates he is de destined for intrigue and cleverness. Uh, okay, sure, let's do that. Worse things than having an, a high entry score, intrigue score, as long as he doesn't try to kill me. Uh, we found a philosopher to give me cultural points. Am I even anywhere close to the cultural stuff, being able to buy something else? No. Uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna pass on the philosopher today. All right. Some some distrust is being sowed. Ooh, definitely give me the family chronicles. That's always nice. Yes, very prosperous. Uh, my son Liam Perkins makes sure everyone gets exactly the same amount of whatever sweets the cook gives the children. Cool, so he can already be just. Excellent. Excellent. He's very happy with the upbringing. So my, my nine-year-old son is already quick, he's gregarious, he's proud, and he is just, and he is a destined schemer. Very good. Prince Liam has always had a keen eye for intrigue, reading my letters, eavesdropping on council meetings. The boy has little respect for privacy, yet it is hard to say what motivates his mischief. Meanwhile, the court seems to think that he's growing up to be the brightest member of House Capet. The stars favor him? Yeah, let's keep doing that. What is going to happen with him? Intrigue's not even his highest uh, score right now. But it's great that he's quick. It gives me all those plus threes. Oh, no, my daughter's sick. How old is she? She's 13. I think that's old enough for a betrothal to somebody. The Kagan of Kopek. We can get her in with the Duge, King of Rus. She's got options. Let's wait a little bit on it, though. And the alliance is broken down with Scotland. Boo-hoo. Saxony is broken off. Looks like they continue to get weaker by the day. Jihad for Jerusalem. I think ultimately it's going to be for the best, though, if I attack uh, Aragon once I have the money. Because all I need is this county. I don't want to absorb all of them. More prosperity. Uh, he's now a bright little child. He's zealous. This kid's getting better by the minute. Awesome. All that piety, more martial. We might have everything in double digits by the time he's of age. Have a Jewish courtier showing up. Well, he's not the best. He's got decent enough intrigue. He's got actually pretty good intrigue, but I've certainly seen better. Is he the best I've got? Oh, let's do it. Now then, we could let's go keep studying some technology out somewhere, like right here. I must have more gold. Oh no, I've become stressed. Maybe I need to switch out my focus. I've been doing business for a while. Maybe, maybe war could be good, because I definitely have wars in my future. Uh, he's got proof that the Duke of Flanders is slandering me. Do I denounce him publicly, or I'll threaten him with exposure? He will live to regret this, oh goodness. Now they want me to go on a treasure chest hunt. Uh, let's just go to the local antiquary again. I've got enough esoteric knowledge for now. 
Uh, let's see, your spy master, Chizkaya of Gardby, seems to have friends and informants inside every Jewish community in Europe. Messenger pigeons arrive at his abode on a daily basis, uh, often carrying vital intelligence from abroad about new weapons and tactics. More military technology points. Awesome. Can't get military organization yet, and that's the one I only, that's really the one I care about. Um, so I guess it wouldn't hurt to just, yeah, let's upgrade something. Uh, Neophyte Alexios. Oh, it's me. Wow, so the king, the king of France and the the emperor of the Byzantine Empire uh, were both just shopping in some antiquary. That's kind of cool. So we're going to form an alliance now, right, buddy? No? Uh, okay, so he wants to get me engaged to who? Some grandson of his. I'm going to decline that. I think my daughter can get a little bit better than that. Uh, so we've got who's running things? King Henry the Young. He's in seclusion with his court right now. I could. He won't. He won't form an alliance with me. Perhaps it is the time, though, to uh, try to assassinate my own sister. No, or maybe him. That's probably smarter. Uh, hmm. Ergod's got a decent-sized army out here. Prince Liam was torturing a rat behind the stables today. No, I don't want him to be cruel. Uh, kind is bad for intrigue, isn't it? Yeah. Let's, uh... <sighs> Cruel's nice for the extra morale damage. Yeah, let him have his fun. He's doing everything else fine. He just needs a little outlet. So I can imprison this guy. Is he any sort of faction with me? I can't imprison him. Stop backing the plot. He won't do it. Well, I'm sure this Duke of Flanders is in on it. Okay, he's locked away. throw him in a deep dark hole he can live there for a while what is happening out here why can't I change this I'm not at peace no vassals are fighting each other well doorways down but they've got these armies that are just running wild in Scotland. Actually, now that I look at it, there's no way Norway doesn't win this. Alright, so my court chaplain's apprenticeship with me has ended. Uh, as a parting gift, I gave him a tome containing a few of my most well-guarded secrets. I did not pretend to notice the tears in his eyes, but they touched me deeply. So I get 300 esoteric knowledge and some more learning because of that. Cool. My intense study of warfare has led to an increased understanding of taxes and strategy, so I am now no longer a skilled tactician, but rather a brilliant strategist. Which uh, lowers my learning a bit. I don't know why. I don't think it should. I could raise another apprentice. Hmm. What is to stop me from... Maybe make... No, he's too weak. I want to make an alliance with somebody. Oh, what happened with Castile here? If this guy dies, Andalusia is going to get everything. So should I be trying to make some sort of alliance with them instead, perhaps? Something like that. No. Difference in age. How old is he? He's two. Okay, that's fine. How about a seven-year-old? Is that better? Make it matrilineal? Didn't think so, but you know it's something. Okay, so let's let's work with Andalusia. Okay, awesome. So we've got that going for us now. Let's form an alliance. Thank you. 
All right, awesome. So he's kind of worn down also, but he's already in a war against the Holy Roman Empire, so maybe it'll be enough for me to also get involved. And they just won't, there's only so much they're going to be able to cover. Maybe I could just start taking some of these areas up here and sit behind a river. We'll find out, though, in the next episode. I'm Conquering History Games, and I will see you then. Subscribe if you haven't already, and have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye.